Hey everyone, it's Daisy, and our project today is going to be a dog, but I thought, well, why not try something different? And I wanted to bring to you a dog that's actually driving a race car and having an awesome day. So this picture is of a race car as well as a dog, and I hope that you enjoyed it. It's for my really young friends. It's going to be fun. It's in markers, and it's just simple drawing. Enjoy. So let's start this picture. It's going to be a drawing of a dog that is in a racing car. And um, so why not? I mean, dogs, there are many, many nice stories about dogs and this is just another one of them, which is why I bring this video to you. So the way you start it is, you want to start with the car because you want to make sure your car takes the most space on your paper. Um, you're going to start by putting the angle from the bottom of the car, which is going down a slope. So I'm going to take a middle line right there. It is straight. Don't have to do anything more to it. Now, wherever I've stopped, I'm going to go ahead and add me a small size tire. Remember, these are dragsters, right? So that means that they're very low down close to the road. And so they have smaller wheels. This is the bottom. Now, for the top, from the middle, put your finger right there, slide up, and what you want to be able to do is take a diagonal line towards the front wheel, like this. So you want the rest of the space for the driver, which would be our dog. So going to go ahead and turn it around. There you go. So that completes the front of your car. How about the back? So right from on top of the wheel, so two measurements from, put your finger right here, slide up. So this is where you would want to be directly above and across. So I'm gonna say I put a dot right there, which is level with my front and on top of my back wheel. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a curve line Again, you want to make sure wherever you stop, it sort of feels like it's in continuation with the rest of the car. Now, all you're going to do is you're going to create the bottom of the passenger's cavity right there. This is where we'll put our dog to sit down. What's next on the agenda? So what we want to do is we want to have our dog's head about this high. So right from the middle of your sitting position, around about here, go up. This is where you want to start his head and it should angle just like the car. So you don't want to keep it totally horizontal. You would like to keep it with the same plane of the car. And that would be the top of his head. Now, you can give him a nose right here. Turn it black, there you go. And then you'd bring another line down not all the way to the back, just stop it about here. That should be good enough. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to give uh, him a smile. So this is his smile. Bring down his cheek right there or the bottom of his mouth, whatever you like to call it. Now to the back, we want to have his ear that's kind of flapping in the wind. Curve to the bottom, stop, pick up your drawing instrument and go to the top and make another curve that connects so that would be his ear and i have the front now i'm going to put a back line right here so i've got the front of his face the back right there how about a scarf most drivers race drivers do have a scarf that they like to keep so i'm going to make two curved lines right on top of each other just like this I'm going to create a closure right there and also to the back I'm going to make a closure yes but then I'm also going to let the end of his scarf fly in the wind kind of gives it a cool look doesn't it so there you go so that would be his scarf how about his eyes two eyes you don't have to put just one you can if you'd prefer but you can also put two so whatever you think sounds right to you that's what you would do two circles and sitting next to each other make sure you put his eyes to where he's looking front not the other ways because he is driving got to be responsible right there and you've got that now how about the top of the steering wheel 
So, but before we draw that, I want to make his hands that might be holding it. So I'm going to put one hand here, which is going to be like a rainbow curve to the top of the card. Just look at that in the space. Then I'm going to give the middle finger first, followed by the side finger and the side finger. I always start with my middles first. So this would be one hand holding the top of the wheel and the other one I'm going to put right here. So instead of doing the curve, I'm going to create his arm coming out like this and you're going to expand it, give him the middle finger, then the side and the side. So you have his second arm from that you can see more of than the other one. Now between these two, give yourself a curve line to represent the wheel, the steering wheel right there. And if you add like a letter Y, it will start looking more like the wheel. So that's what you would do just to kind of complete the look in a way. How about the back of the body? We don't need to worry about the front because the hands come in. But remember you made the back line, extend it down. So now you complete his body right there that's all done so technically this is the main thing in drawing the dog in the car now you can accessorize it with things that make it more of a race car so the center of the wheels the first thing second thing you can give your lucky number on the side of the car so if for you it could be number one it could be number 10 it could be whatever number you think of make a circle but then you want to kind of draw it in bold what does that mean I'm going to make mine's number 10. So I'm going to make it like a double line so that ten. Right there. That's my car number. Now I can put a headlight curve to the front. That's done. And for the back of the car, I can add more stickers if I want to, but I don't want to today. So I'm going to stop this part right here. Now, I'm going to take my black and I'm going to put it into the wheel as well as the dog's ear. So I want to be able to do that. And I'm going to revert back to my Sharpie. One of the good things about using Sharpie when you're also going to be using markers is because the Sharpie will never, never, never bleed under those markers. And I find I'm really happy with it. Also, another place that another kind of coloring type that I can use with Sharpies is my paints. Even if I use watercolors with uh, my Sharpies, I'm okay and it won't start to smudge or the lines won't start to move under my paint. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Now I did not make the road. I know that you might be thinking, where's the uh, racetrack or something? So I'm going to just put a uh, little bit of a yellow line versus trying to put too much black on this artwork because it is a piece of art at the end of it. So just to make it a bit more colorful, I could put a yellow dirt road. I could put a green grass road. I could put a brown, um, like a cobblestone kind of a road. So you have to really think about which way you want to go. But before I do any of that good stuff, I'm going to go ahead and complete my coloring. Love a red race car. Who doesn't? I mean, I think, I personally think when I see red cars on the road, that those people are really passionate about their, uh, the look of their car. I just feel like some people just really go for the red color only because it reminds them of a sports car. There's a lot of red sports car. If you ever get a chance to watch the sporting um, news and you get to see a NASCAR race or any of these races, it's really fun to watch. And the cars look so beautiful. They have got so many colors. They have a ton of stickers on them. You understand what stickers mean. Those are their sponsorships and it helps them to get paid. Whether they win the race or not, you want it to have a good sponsor, right? 
so that someone that can help you grow with your passions so that way and I would like to create like a yellow I think here I've got an idea I'm going to kind of use this yellow and this is also gone there's some markers i just haven't used for the like forever i don't know what it is about them but i just haven't had to use them not that i regret it but i just needed did not need to pick out my markers lately i've been doing work with other things and so i'm the so here i am now if I did that in yellow, here are my options. I can use my black and I can kind of put that around it so that the yellow in the number really pops up. This is another way. You have to think about how you can make certain parts of your artwork really, really, really pop. And you can do that by contrasting colors. Okay, now apart from the yellow here, I also want to Put it on a yellow kind of a road so going to although see this is the beauty of doing things in sharpies like the drawings that this it never smudge or smear and it helps keep my artwork really really clean so i like that but just remember most markers you will get a little bit of a smell it does not make them toxic but it helps the ink to float. You want a good quality paper under your artwork so that your markers can do their job for you much better. Last but not least, we want to kind of give him a scarf. Why do I say it's a he dog? Could be a she dog. I don't know. Let's see. I want a light color. This is intentional. I don't want to take a dark color. I like soft colors. They look really good. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And this is my entire picture for my dog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you do try it. You can of course add a background to this. You can put trees or other things um, as the dog is racing along and going through the countryside. So there's a lot you can do. So I hope you have fun with this. See you in the next video.